Boys of Crown the Empire, uh, how are we on this lovely, very hot day in Irvine, California? Good. Super good. I uh, took a nap. That was exciting. We had some catering. That was good. Uh, last show. Super stoked to be here. You know, I have nothing to lose, so I'm just going to go super hard, maybe lose my voice. It doesn't matter. It's going to be fine. Very nice. Uh, and, you know, those of you who don't know, finding a time to take a nap on tour is like a rare luxury. <laughs> I love naps, especially if you're on the road. It hits different on the road, for sure. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, so um, I'm going to ask you a similar question that I just asked Patrick from Ice Nine Kills when he was here a few minutes ago. Um, you know, obviously you have your headlining shows that you do. You have different package tours that you're on. When you're figuring out, like, the set list and production and all of that for a tour like this, this size and in this position, uh, what are some of the decisions you have to make and what are some of the conversations you have about, like, all right, here's how we're going to approach opening for Slipknot versus right. headlining our own tour? Yeah, I think for this one, um, 35 minutes is, like, super easy. We just want to put our best foot forward, um, throw in a bunch of songs, keep the energy going. You know, it's different when when it's a... Headliner or something, you know, be, people are there for you. It's it, it's kind of easy to just kind of just trust that they're gonna vibe with it. But here, you, you start, you're starting from zero. You're opening in front of, you know, the biggest crowds you've ever been a part of, the biggest production you've ever been a part of. Um, just coming in, bringing the heat, having fun. Um, that was definitely a factor. But we still had kind of conversations about what songs we, we wanted. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd probably be the most conversations are based around like what set list we're gonna do. We have 30 minutes, so we can, we can go as hard as we you know as hard as possible at 100 percent for 35 minutes, no problem, you know. So, I think the biggest thing is trying to match the energy for the tour that we're on and stuff, like you said. Right. Yeah. Different situations call for different ammunition, you know. And obviously, one of the reasons you do a tour like this is not only because we all love Slipknot, uh, but it's an opportunity to play in front of a, a big crowd and potentially uh, a bunch of people who've never heard Crown the Empire. Uh, having said that. Um, What's it been like as far as looking out and, you know, are you seeing some crown shirts? Are you seeing people that know the words? Or is there some love out there from pre-existing fans? I I kind of just tune out everything. You don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what I'm hearing, <laughs> what I'm going to say. I can't even make eye contact if the crowd's big enough. I'm like, bro, don't even look at me, you know. Um, but looking at videos afterward, there were, there were times where they're like, holy shit. Like they're, they're, yeah, they're like, singing the songs and stuff yeah. like that, you know, which is surprising for us. You know, yeah, but. I did not expect that at all, but... Um, yeah, definitely excited when we do see it. I think uh, a big thing for us, too, is regardless of how the crowd's reception to us is, is we just give it everything we can. And usually by the end of the show, you know, if it starts and no one's really moving, by the end of it, people are digging it, you know? Yeah, even if it's just like this. I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it, yeah. 100%. Some affirmation right there. Yeah, 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 love me, please. Somebody's moving. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> nodding their head. Uh, so on tours like this... You know, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people in the crew. There's a lot of production. There's trucks. There's merch. Uh, so, you know, less than people might think. It's not, you know, we all have this fantasy of bands touring together and they're hanging out partying all the time. Uh, but having said that, uh, have you had an opportunity to hang out with dudes from Slipknot? And I, I imagine you guys knew that the Ice Nine Kills guys are ready before. Oh, this. yeah. We've been friends with the Ice Nine Boys for years. But um, Slipknot, it just... We, I don't know. I guess it's like being starstruck. Uh, you know, I just you see him in, in the hallway, and I just was like, <gasps> <sighs> "Fellow, uh, maybe next time." You know, um, I've had a moment to say what's up. There was actually a day the V Man made burgers for everybody. Had like a barbecue. You know what? Spencer referred to him as the grill master earlier today. Yeah. Now I understand why. Yeah, he was slinging. He was slinging those things left and right, <laughs> and it was it was and they were super good. It's it's really awesome when, you know, I've been I've been a part of smaller tours where headliners just won't talk to the, any any of the bands the whole time. So it was super nice just to at least dedicate a day to, um, to to treat everybody on the crew. I think that's really amazing. Yeah. But um, other than that, I'm too scared. Too scared. <laughs> but and maybe they, today I'll say They can seem like larger than life people, too. I remember what, years ago being at, at NAM here in Anaheim, and I've been to a million NAMs and met and interviewed a bunch of people there. But I just remember I have this vivid memory of just walk on the floor and there's this big commotion and you just feel all this energy of like craziness and this group of people goes by and it's Mick from Slipknot. I was he's there like, for that exact he's moment. He's like 100 yeah. feet tall. Yeah. yeah, and you're like... All the security and everything. Yeah, how do you not... It's like the star power, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, st a star among stars. Like yeah. there's stars everywhere but that's like a moment where you're like... Yeah, and I would say typically none of us get like nervous or starstruck or anything like you said but with, with you know, Slipknot is... It's a whole different animal, you know? It's like... The people that we've idolized since we were children and seeing them in real yeah. life. So I think in terms of interaction, it's kind of like nerve-wracking. Okay, I don't want to say the wrong thing and make a bad impression, look stupid or whatever, but they're cool. You know, anytime we've walked past 
pass them in the halls. They always say what's up and take the time to give us I a little s- head nod at least. I said what's up to Clown. This is so. I said what's up to Clown. I saw him at the barbecue line. I was like, hey man, Andy from Crown, great to meet you. And he's like, oh great. Are you having fun? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then he was just like, I was like, cool. I'll see you later. And that was it. That was the whole conversation. But you know, I'll take what I can get. I went. I went on just like. Thank you, sir. Just like as soon as I turned the corner. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Uncle Clown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're one of those bands like a Metallica or, a, you know, where cousins, civilians, people that don't quite understand what you do and you're trying to describe it and you're like, you know, it's like a Slipknot, like, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those like yeah. cultural part of the conversations, yeah. you know? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, so uh, you mentioned this is uh, the home stretch here for you guys today. Uh, what's coming up next down the pike for Crown after this? Oh, that, you can, that you're allowed to talk about, I guess. I know. But where our record's finished, our record Dogma's coming out next year at some point. But I don't know. I don't know anything, really. You know? <laughs> we, <laughs> but next year, yeah, there's there's talks of tours and everything. Um, just some things in the works. It feels like a storm's kind of a brewing. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I would say, like, first quarter of next year, we'll, we'll have some cool stuff coming. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah. How hard is it? Because I know a lot of bands end up in this position, especially uh, during the pandemic and stuff. How hard is it to sit on a finished record that you're so excited to share with people, but you can't yet because of all the it's, logistics? It's the worst. It's the worst feeling in the world. But I, I remember hearing like Lincoln Park sat on Meteora for like ten years, and I was like, that that's that's baffling to me. So I was like, all right, I can wait another. I can wait another few months. But yeah, you know, it, it's. And the worst part is that you always want to go back and fix stuff. You know, yeah, there's course. things that I noticed like, oh shit, and it's it's been it's it's turned in already and everything. So. You know, you just have to kind of be happy with it as it comes out. Realize that that's what you guys are as, at that moment, and just kind of let it go, fire and forget it. When it comes out, it comes out. Hopefully, people like it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it too, because it's like any any kind of art too, where you you know a painting. It's like at what point do you go? That's it. Yeah. That was the last brush stroke. Uh, you know, now it's done. Day. Like how do you know? Yeah, you know? I'll sit there all day and tweak it and tweak <laughs> it and tweak it. You know. Yeah, you got you got to know when to commit. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at some point you got to go. That's just that's a picture of what we were in that moment and. You know, turn the page. Yeah, absolutely. So, awesome, guys. Well, um, thank you so much for coming and hanging with us. We've got all kinds of Crown the Empire content, as they say, at notfest.com. Uh, I've had the pleasure of speaking with dudes from your band before. We did an Instagram Live not that long ago. Uh, so, you know, big supporters. We love what you guys do, and uh, we're happy to have you here on our little stage. Thank you, man. Appreciate Crown it. Crown the Empire. Give it up. Thank, thank you, guys. guys. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you all. And you all uh, stick around in this general vicinity because... Uh, I believe the grill master is going to be with us here himself. Uh, here in a few minutes. I said they were delicious. Yeah. Serve man. <laughs>